Welcome back. In this video, we will explore how to edit OSM data. So once you are at your preferred location, you can simply click on the edit button at top left. Remember, you must be logged in. So you must be logged in. So once you click on the edit button, you will see a satellite view of the location, which will help you edit that data more accurately. So once you zoom in enough, you will see some data so the data is made up of points lines and areas so points are standalone features like a tree or a village and lines are made up of multiple points uh, lines are just roads or linear features so we can see a boundary here which forms the boundary between these two models so areas are uh, like forests or residential areas which you can see here so to start with uh, to add a point select point and place your point wherever you want so i'll just add a tree here uh, this is how you add points to add lines you can simply select the line and continue the road and click enter when you're done select the type of road which you have added to continue an existing line you can simply right click and then continue to add areas select the area and <clears throat> trace the boundary of what you are mapping so i have traced the boundary of village i will simply select the residential area because there are some houses here so to map individual houses select area and then draw a rectangle by dropping four points you can select a point and drag it to make it uh, rectangular you can right click and then select square so all corners are 90 degrees you have multiple options if you are mapping a circular feature you can simply select circularize you can undo by using ctrl z or the undo button here so once the rectangle is there select area and then select house so this is a house to map other houses you can simply draw rectangles and right click and click square or you can use the shortcut which is capital Q on the rectangle is mapped select the house and then that is how you map a house so you can explore all the features on the left side so to draw a row of trees you can simply delete this tree or select a line and then press enter i can simply search tree row so this is a row of trees so you can explore all the features on the left so this is a farmland i'll simply select area and draw the boundary of the farmland so as much as i can see so don't edit boundaries you can just uh, pass over them so once you're done press enter and search the feature which is farmland yep so once you are done mapping the data you can simply upload your changes by clicking on the save button at top right and it will give you an overview of what changes you have made so i have created a tertiary road I have created a residential area, I have created a house, another house, a tree row, a farmland. So this is what I, the changes I have made. I will just add a comment, added some village data and upload. So once you click on upload, it will uh, create a change set which you can see by clicking on the number. So this is the list of changes you have just made. This is the website where you have made the changes, which is openstreetmap.org. The imagery used is S3, which you can see on the right side. And that's it.